Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm in Kiev, Ukraine, the capital city, Kiev in Ukraine. Um, and in this video, I want to talk about the situation here and also what I plan to do. Um, so first and foremost, I, I don't plan on leaving Ukraine. Um, Ukraine is now my home and I'm not going to leave just because the, uh, the Moscow midget can't get his own way. So I'm going to stay here. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't all go too crazy. I don't think it will. Um, so we're going to head down this way and uh, I'll show you what's going on in the centre at the moment. This is Maidan Nezaleznosti. Um, you may remember this was on the news back in 2013, the revolution. And today there are a few news crews here and lots of people with signs um, in thanks for the countries which are actually supporting what's happening here in Ukraine at the moment. Now, of course, I can't see a German flag. Probably that's because all the Germans did was uh, supply some helmets, so they're not very popular at the moment. But uh, there are flags from uh, quite a few countries here. We've got uh, Spain, we've got uh, the USA, Britain, Turkey. So, yeah, quite a few here. One of the things I wanted to say, actually, about um, news and reporting at the moment is that, you know, if you, if you read online newspapers, um, you know, British ones, American ones, whichever, or you watch online news from you know, BBC, Sky News, CNN or something, what you're getting there is different to what the reality is here, in my opinion. Now, of course, you know, no one wants a war or <laughs> more of a war. And that's another thing, you see. Western news keeps saying things like, oh, Russia will invade. Well, that happened eight years ago and they're still occupying part of the country now. So, you know, <laughs> um, people here... OK, first of all, let me say this. Back in 2014, the Ukrainian army was different to uh, what it is now. Now they are better equipped, better trained, higher numbers, motivated. Um, now, there's something like half a million uh, Ukrainian troops, um, plus loads of reservists, plus people who are willing to defend their country, you know, to pick up a weapon and go and actually defend themselves. And you've also got to remember that Russia have been persecuting Ukraine for centuries. So Ukrainians are kind of used to it. And they're not just going to suddenly up sticks and leave. And why should they? This is their country. So, you know, what a lot of the stuff you're seeing on the news in Britain is, is either a severe exaggeration or simply not true. You know, the people I've spoken to are maybe slightly concerned, but they're not scared. They are, yeah, well, OK. Well, you know, Russia's been at it for a while. We're used to it now. You know, that's kind of the attitude you get. Um, you know, there's no queue of people heading to the uh, Polish border or something like that. People are just living their lives, just getting on with things, you know. You know, we've got lots of nice snow today, so kiddies are in the park, sledging. People are skiing up the road here. Um, people are just shopping in, in the normal way they would otherwise. So, yeah, things aren't quite as crazy as, uh, as maybe you would uh, think they are. But there you go. All right, so um, I've just come up to the Rada, or Parliament, here in Kiev. And um, over here, yeah, there are no masses of troops or masses of guards or panicked people. There are just a couple of guys guarding as they usually do on any normal day. So and this is the Parliament building. So if they were really that worried, they'd have huge amounts of troops here with loads of guns protecting it. But they haven't, so, yeah. So I don't think uh, the uh, Western media is being too honest, really, about the whole thing. But there you go. OK, so um, I think we'll wrap up the video here. Um, I've tried not to be too negative. I probably have been negative, but I'm just trying to show you the, the real situation here, really. Anyway, I'm going to go and get a coffee because my hands are cold. I should have brought my gloves. OK, I'll see you in the next video.